एवरीवन होप ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड ग्रेट वेलकम टू एस एस आई एस सोशल कॉर्नर टूडे योर टॉपिक इज अबाउट फेस्टिवल डू यू आर लव टू सेलिब्रेट फेस्टिवल वाई नॉट एवरी वन फ्रॉम किड टू दी ओल्ड मैन लव टू सेलिब्रेट फेस्टिवल्स सो वॉट यू मीन बी फेस्टिवल इट इज एन इवेंट सेलिब्रेटेड बाई अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल सो वे पीपल रेजॉयस शेयर विद योर family and their friends there are three divisions in festivals religious festival national festival harvest festival religious festivals are been celebrated by religious people such as hindu muslims christians buddhist so on so let me talk about few religious festivals which are been mostly celebrated like diwali by hindus christmas by christians eid ul fitr by muslims so let me focus on diwali what do you mean by diwali it is a hindu festival which is has another name called festivals of light where it is been celebrated during the month of november or october so which tells that king rama that is king of ayodhya returned home victoriously after killing ram so people decorate their homes with lamps they worship goddess lakshmi and they wear new clothes prepare different types of sweets and distribute among their friends and families and they burst crackers which expresses their happiness so now let us focus on christmas Christmas is a festival celebrated by Christians. It is celebrated on December 25th every year which believes that birth of Jesus Christ. So do you all know what is the other name for Christmas? It is Xmas. So we have believe that Santa Claus brings gifts for children on this Christmas day. Do you know what are the other two festivals celebrated by Christians? It is Easter and Good Friday. Now let me focus on Eid ul Fitr which means Ramadan celebrated by Muslims. So it has another name called as festivals of breaking the fast which denotes that people of Muslims keep fasting for the whole day where they will analyze the life dedication of poverty people so where people we are new clothes and do prayers on this particular day let us focus on navaratri which is also considered as a religious festival so it is dedicated to goddess durga so it indicates the victory of goddess over the demon mahishasura so it is mostly celebrated for period of 9 days in the month of september and october and vijayadashmi is the 10th day of celebration where many uh, believe that this day gives them a new learning across the india and do you know it is called as dasara in other places in india let us focus on national festivals so we all know that national festivals of india are gandhi jayanti independence day and republic day gandhi jayanti falls on october 2 it's a birth date of mahatma gandhi ji independence day is on august 15 1947 it falls on August 15 every year Republic Day is celebrated on Jan 26th Do you all know that who is the first president of India Dr Rajendra Prasad who hosted flag in our red fort Now let us focus on harvest festival What do you mean by harvest festival So in India we give most preference to the people who works as farmers so where people harvest their crops and 
dedicate their work to the god this is why it has been celebrated as harvest festival and do you know which is the famous harvest festival celebrated in tamil nadu it is pongal so we have other festivals where uh, in different states called by different names lohari in punjab uttarayan in gujarat maharashtra and rajasthan as pongal in tamil nadu so people celebrate in different ways by flying kites preparing pongal sharing their love and care to everyone so it is it is an invitation mark of the arrival of spring season so now we we all have seen the three types of festivals and its details we'll catch up in the next video thank you